Say it's already done. Oh, can I hear you, Lakewood? It's already done. Oh, it's already done. Christ did it for us. Welcome to the finished work program brought to you by Glory of Christ Ministries. program my name is Irene Herbert and remember that we are still in the season of secrets of success and do you know that your character can lead you to success just keep on watching previously on the finished work if you have been told to respect your husband oh. by your wisdom a house is built be wise the way you portray yourself there lies your key to success. Amen. The key to open your opportunities to men, I mean the keys, from the potential of men, number one, write it down. Number one, tell your neighbor character. Gamba kulida nyenti embala character embala character embala a faithful man will be rewarded omuntu omwesigwa alisa suwempera ye faithfulness may not yield results now obwesigwa yinzo obutabujja mu bibalakati but it will yield results later on Tell, tell your neighbor, be faithful. Gamba kulida nyenti beranga mwesigwa. Be faithful in your businesses. Beranga mwesigwa mubi obusubu zibi osubu. When you borrow, pay back. Wewe wala anga sasulo zeyo. When you buy something, pay in full. Wogula ngeti intu sasula sente zichigenda mu. Be faithful in your finances. Beranga mwesigwa mubi ensimbizo. Don't let people to hashtag you as someone who doesn't want to pay. Never let people to give you other names other than the great name that God gives you. Unfaithfulness. Unfaithful. A thief. Mubi. So on and so forth. Don't do that. A good name is more expensive. I mean, it's, it's so precious than an expensive perfume. Your name is equal to the, met, to, to the magnitude of your success. Some girls are married because of their names. Men are given jobs. Some men are given jobs because of their names. Whenever they mention that name, everybody says, Yes. Your name is your money. Your name is your success. Is either your success or your downfall. Protect it. Keep it. Ask God to give you the power. 
to make a good name is far far more precious than rubies listen to me church listen to me very well I'm speaking great words words that will bring you success in future some of us are too blind that we live for today we don't see tomorrow that is a spirit of foolishness a wise man looks ahead he's like an eagle he looks at a person right now and he sees his future and he knows if I do something now I will have buried my future don't bury your future now sow your future now hallelujah amen you know, when Jesus said, give and it shall be given to you, he first of all, he wasn't talking about money alone. And he wasn't talking about church. He was giving the secrets to his disciples. Secrets of success. The way you relate with the people is exactly what you get out of them. And he said, judge no. Condemn no. If someone is hungry, give him. If someone does wrong to you, forgive. Overcome evil with good. Amen. Because you know what lies ahead in the future. That very person whom the devil has used to bring evil to you. If you do good to him. He will change. And one day. In the future. He will be able to testify about you. And who knows. Maybe he will be among the pan of people. Who are interviewing you on your job. And he will recommend you highly. And he said, I know that person. He's, he's a good person. I may not tell you the history, but I know he's good. Say amen, church. Amen. Amina. Now, let me tell you something before I go on. The Bible talks in second talks about a uh, Talk something in Second Chronicles. Bible uh, King Jehoshaphat. I King Jehoshaphat. I think King Joshua or King Joshua. Josiah. Josiah. Kabaka Josiah. You got Kabaka Josiah. I think Josiah. Maybe I've forgotten. But anyway, the whole story is that one day we had a high priest called was it a, a high? I've forgotten this story. Maybe I'll have to. Yeah, the high priest, uh, Joash. Abinad, is it? Uh, uh, that name has just come out of me. How come they have forgotten this name? <laughs> anyway, the Bible narrates this story. Bible, that uh, this king, uh, the father, died when the. I mean, the the the. the, the uh, uh, there is a nation that came and overthrown his father. His father was killed. And his grandmother was called uh, Atharia. Atharia. And so uh, uh, this high priest took this kid and hid him. And he groomed him in the ways of the Lord. The Bible says he did everything good to help this young man. And he fought with all his strength to make him king. 
Amen. Amen. Even up to the, to the extent to kill Athalia, his grandfather, grandmother. Anyway, time, the Bible says time came that the high priest died. And his, the, the son of the high priest was called Zechariah. And he, he, he took the father's position. So soon when this king had you know, mastered the whole army under him and uh, the king, I mean the kingship was under his control. He listened to the kings of other nations. So Zechariah came and reprimanded him. I said what you are doing is not right. Remember how far the Lord has brought you. And the king out of rage said, Who are you to advise me? Who appointed you as a king's advisor? And the Bible says, The king secretly plotted the death of Zechariah. So, uh, then some people came up with some accusations and Zechariah was stoned before people. They concocted some accusations against Zechariah. And they killed Zechariah by stoning. The Bible says Bible that I think it was Joshua. Kabaka Yowas. Kabona Yari Yokoyada. Aha, Yokoyada, Johad, yeah. Then the, 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 in English, Jehoyada. Jehoyada, no, I mean, I mean the king. Joash. Joash. The Bible says, Bible Yagamba. King Joash. Kabaka Yowas. Never remembered the good that. Zechariah's father had done to him. As Zechariah lay dying, he said, Forgive him, God. But when you read down, that was the beginning of the fall, the, the, the fall of the king. Joshua. Jowash. 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 Proverbs 17 says If a man will do good to his neighbor and yet he returns to him evil evil will never leave that house. So what do I want to say? Let us be wise how we, we, we deal with people. Amen, church. Character is important. How you relate people is the measure of your success. How many want to be successful? How many want to be successful? Be successful first in the way you relate with people. Once you master that, success will follow you. Because those very people around you will begin to talk about you. And one day, your name, I mean, you will meet your name even where you've never gone. Let me tell you this simple story. One day I happened to go to the US. And I was uh, I was uh, 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 received by some people at the airport. And they drove me where I was going to leave. And I saw this lounge. It was 
a beautiful executive lounge. Nenda be kifo chen bantu alo kusula munga kifo chirunji nyo nyini dada. And then, on all the doors were stickers of names, husband and wives, of the names of people who were going to live in there. Kati inga kunze jisu na kulika manyagaba antu, omuami na omu chala bagendo kusula mubifebio. And uh, 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 the, 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 my AED who, has got me at the, who had got me at the airport, my AED, uh, so he told me, Nangambanti. your room is on the king, on the, is it on the king suit, on the king suit. And then I said, and I went there. I saw my name. And my wife's name. And we opened. Man. It was something that I've never seen. A living room. A kitchenette. A bathroom. A jacuzzi. A bed <laughs> as <laughs> big as from here <laughs> to <laughs> here. The bed had switches. If I, if I want warmth, I just switch on. I just turn to warmth. And if I want to be cool, Man, I saw things. I saw things that sense, that sense you. You go to the bathroom and it senses that you have gone there. And we now in the evening, Kati Oreguro. All of us were living at the large camp. Fena, I mean, we were in the main sitting room. Fena, ne tukunga na anga itwari abage ni ne tugenda mu mu room. Me and my wife from Africa. Nse ne muchala wa anga ba fude ne bufirika. We have others from Germany. Wari ba fude Germany, Bujiri Man. Canada. Ba fude Canada. Whatever. Yona je wari ba fude abage ni ya njau. We were the only blacks there. Kari inga fwa duga fwe ka bari wo a wo. And Andrew Wama came in. And he said, Oh, we are so happy to receive Pastor Hubbard and Irene. And then he said, I think most of you have been asking yourselves, Who are these people that uh, the king's suit has been reserved for? So the brother from German said, uh, and his wife said, Yeah, in fact, when I saw Herbert, Herbert I, I thought it's from German because Herbert is a German name. Now, when they saw, they saw this small person, black. And <laughs> And Andrew said, I honor that man of God. When, when our ministry came to Uganda, we got so many people around who joined the ministry, inclusive Pastor Herbert. Uh, inclusive. But in eight years, we tested each and everyone. Let me, let me speak it in Luganda. In eight years, we have tested. Everybody, visitors, 
We could bring visitors and put them there. Others, we gave them tenders to supply resources like books or Bibles and other items. In 60 million or 100 million and others visitors. We wanted to see how they talk. But among us all those people we tested him via money. We tested him via people. We tested him via giving him contracts to do for us certain works. Andrew was speaking in the presence of many people around. And he said, We failed. Then one time he said that the pastor Hubbard was called to the office of Liran and was given 10,000 US dollars. This is what Liran told me. We want to give you this money, you know how to use it. We heard that you were buying a place of land. Uh, costing a hundred millions. And he said, but we have given our seed is here. We are two, and you know whether to give it to the church or to take it and use it the way you want. And I declare the truth that when they gave me this money, I brought it to the office. I made sure that when Liran came to visit us here, I spoke about it before the congregation. I didn't know that Andrew Womaka was behind it and everything taking place. It also reached him. We I knew that we could, there are now very many people whom they gave that money and they did not take it to the church. And I glorified the Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, they are people who will test you to see whether you fit in that position. There are some people they are in your life but they are going to become a step for you to rise to another level. Be careful the way you conduct business with other people. Praise the Lord. Embalayo is very, very important. Do not underestimate it simply because of gains. If someone is hungry, then feed him. When someone sends you to buy something, please tell him the balance. You don't know who is testing you. Even when sending you knows the price of that item. For you don't know whether he knows or he doesn't know. Do not make yourself lose. Do not look at this small item and you lose the bigger opportunity. One of the secrets of success if you were to receive from people be thou faithful you work on your character. Your character will elevate you. All of the righteousness which the Lord tells us to do is not for God. Righteousness benefits you. It benefits you as a person. It helps you as a person. Praise the Lord. People will know that you are greedy. People will know that you are greedy. 
People will not, you are not faithful financially. They will not speak it. But they will keep them in their hearts. The thoughts of a man's heart are deep waters. You cannot comprehend it. Do not degrade yourself because of money. Do not spoil your name. Because you're wealthy and whatever you ask for are amongst those people. They will come back to you. Say amen. Say amen. Say amen. Job 35 verse 8. Job 35 Job 35 verse 8. Job 35 verse 8. Amen. Amen. Your righteousness benefits you. Your wickedness affects only me and you. Marriage breakings and whatever, it's, uh, I mean, even being chased out of the job, demotions, it's all about the way you do things. Proverbs 11 verse 25 Proverbs 11 verse 25 Proverbs 11 verse 25 Yes no ya fukiri la amazi na ya alifukiri wa ye njini. Now listen to this. Kati uliri za chino. A generous, a good man. O musajja agabagaba, o musajja omurunji. Will prosper. Anakula akula nanga. Will be successful. Ajakuboto zanga. Generous. O mugabi. Generous. O mugabi. Now not only to give. Siku wabu ito ka. Money. Sente. But giving. Giving yourself. Giving in terms of helping. While you are helping others. You are refreshing others. One day. They will refresh you. And you will prosper. Say amen. And you will be successful. Hallelujah, church. Hallelujah. Let me finish there. By just this one, just write them. Number two. Always make plain what you need. Make it plain. Habakkuk one day in Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 2. Habakkuk was complaining. People are not coming to my rescue. People seem not to understand. People seem to do this. And God told him, look here, Habakkuk, complaining will not help you. Make plain what you want. Make it plain where you want to go, what you need, and how you want these people to help you. Amen. 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 Then the Lord replied, write down the revelation, write down the vision, write down the plans, the ideas, and make it plain on the paper. Those days they used to use tablets. But right now we, we use papers. Yeah. Yeah. So that people, Herod, people may run with it. People may go and, you know, help you mm. to talk about it. Now, when we talk about vision, we don't talk about vision so high, uh, so high there. We're what we are saying, 
make sure you know what you want. And explain it to people. Speak with people who have gone before you. And maybe who are doing the same thing. Ask them questions. Interact with them. Let them know your intentions clearly. That is simplicity. That's what we call simplicity. Amen. Amen. And meekness. Then when they hear that. One day. He will talk about it with someone else. By the way. You are doing this. But also. I have a young man. Who is doing the same thing. Maybe he can be of help to you. Or maybe then he can help you. In this area. And then you will find out. That you are networking. Amen. Amen. Lastly, be persistent and patient. Luke chapter 11 from verse 5 to 10. Read it for us. Luke chapter 11 from verse 5 to 10. Luke chapter 11 from verse 5 to 10. Aligenda ewe etumbi na mugamba anti mukwano gwange mpole emigati esatu kubanga mukwano gwanga ze ava mu lugendo nange sina cha kusamma soge noli ali munda naddamu na gamba anti tonteganya kakano olujirugale abana bange nange tumazo okweba kasinza kugoloko kakukuwa mbagamba anti ne wakubadenga tagoloko kanamu wa kubanga mukwano gwe na ye olwoku tayirira kwe for this man will not wake up and give him, but because of his persistence and what he need, his humility, his clarity in asking, this man will wake up and he said, you know what? I think I will help you. Amen. 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 So always be persistent. Speak it. Explain it. Ask directly. From that person, I say, please, I need your help in this matter. This is how I want you to help me. Because I want to do A, B, C, D. As you are persistent, the man will wake up and help you. Come on, give God a mind. The art of receiving and asking from men. Have we understood now? Are we wise now? Just put up your hands right now. Say Lord Jesus. I have known. And I understand. That everything I ask for. You have already provided. Is among men. And right now, I have learned the art and the wisdom how to receive from men. Help me to deal with my character. Secondly, help me to know clearly what I want. And Lord, show me the very people that I have to ask from. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for tuning in to the Finished Work Program. Feel free to join us every Sunday at Glory of Christ Church located in Kasubi, Kawala. Come, let's worship together, praise together, enjoy His presence together, and hear more of this life-changing word every day, every hour, every night. For more information, please contact the numbers on your screen and contact our social media. We look forward to hear from you. And don't forget to tune in next time, same time, same time.